I did not expect it to hurt as much as it has. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel for another video about dog rescue. Today we are going to be talking about the five things that I wish I knew before fostering a dog. As you all know my foster dog Jazz who I had for almost a year found her forever home. Finally, insert video of Jazz being adorable here. Been with her new family now for about six months and they say she is doing just so good she loves her dog brother she loves her family and they just adore her so I'm very happy to hear that how I ended up with her is just like a whole mess in itself like it's a whole thing if you guys don't know what I'm talking about I'm gonna link that video below because it's just insanity it was just crazy so there's a lot of things that I really wish that I knew and in case you guys are thinking of fostering now I'm gonna let you in on all of those secrets so you don't have to go through the same stuff that I did now the first thing that really surprised me was how protective I got and how jealous I was after she actually got adopted during the whole process of her you know meeting new families and things like that I was so so critical like I would just sit back and watch their body language and the way that they said everything because I wanted to make sure that she went to the best home possible and I got so protective and then after when she went to go and live with her family and they'd send me photos of her like having a good time and things like that I got so jealous it's been six months that she's been with this family and I'm still calling her my dog so I did not expect that I also didn't expect it to be so difficult to have the two dogs in the house at the same time and obviously two dogs are gonna be more work than one dog but the reason that I say that is that I've been dog sitting for years like sometimes I'll have four dogs in my house at the same time so having two dogs seems pretty easy and pretty tame for me but I think the big difference with this is that they're both rescue dogs and they both had issues that they're working on whereas normally all of my clients are pet dogs and they're not dealing with the same kind of issues so having those two in the house was a lot more full-on work than what I thought it was going to be <laughs> I loved it though. I loved it. I really wish that I knew more about her before she showed up at my house. And that's oftentimes the problem with fostering a dog. You don't know how the dog is going to react when it comes to your house because oftentimes the rescue that you're getting the dog from doesn't know the dog very well. They don't know its background or what it's been through. So I get that. I get that that's a part of fostering. But my case is a little bit different because I actually was fostering from the owner. So someone who owned Jazz, who I was fostering, and then they decided that they did didn't want her so they theoretically having lived with her for multiple years should have known certain things about her behavior now I don't know if it's just that they didn't tell me or if it was they didn't like she has never acted like that before and it was just in my house I don't know but I do wish that I had a way of getting more information about her before she came into my house just so I could prepare for the issues that she had instead of being completely blindsided as I was going off of that I really wish that I would have known to foster from a rescue instead of a random person who needed my help on the internet. I am such a bleeding heart when it comes to animals and if there's someone who needs my help I will put myself last and I'll do everything I can to help but I oftentimes forget that not everyone in the world is like that and there's always gonna be people that take advantage of people like me. Jazz was my first time fostering. I had never done it before and I was trying to help out another person by fostering this dog and then it just ended up leading to all of these other problems and I just wish that I would have known to avoid all of that. So if you're thinking about fostering, don't just find someone random on the internet that needs help. Definitely go through a rescue organization because then you have the support that you need. And lastly, this is probably the most obvious thing and all of you know that I'm going to say it, but I wish that I would have known how much it would hurt when she went to her new family. I didn't expect it to hurt like that. Like I. I really thought that because I'm dog sitting all the time and I have dogs coming and going all the time, I thought that I would be okay with seeing her go and knowing that she was going to a good family, but it felt like I was losing a limb. Like I didn't know what to do with myself when she was gone. Just the thought of her enjoying her life and being happy with another family. On the one hand, it makes me really happy. And on the other hand, it makes me really sad that it's not me who gets to be there and see her grow and change and like get over the problems that she has so i didn't i did not expect it to hurt as much as it has like truly all in all i would say that fostering a dog was very tough um but i'm so happy that i did it and i will definitely be doing it more in the future it's hard though guys it really 
it really is there's a lot of feels there's a lot of emotions but it's so so worth it i think Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will link below some of the videos about Jazz's experience with me so that you can kind of like see all of that jazz. I know, I can't believe I just said that too. <laughs> More importantly, I would love to hear about the dogs that you have fostered. I wanna know their names, I wanna know their breed, their age, I wanna know a funny story about them, I wanna see a picture if you've got it. I just wanna know all about it. So let me know in the comment section because I wanna hear about your experiences as well. Let me know if you're thinking of fostering, I'd love to hear about that. And if you haven't already, then make sure that you subscribe to this channel, obviously. And follow me on Instagram because I post there every single day pretty much and I'll see you in the next video.